Now we're going to look at the different types of words used in mathematics. So some of these might be pretty straightforward because you've been working with these ever since primary school. So hopefully majority of them are familiar for you, but let's go through them still because they are very, very important notations and terms that we're going to be continuously using throughout the maths course. Now have a look guys. The first one, addition, subtraction, you guys should be experts on this, adding and subtracting, add, plus, minus, multiplication, timesing, um, so it's like a product, division is dividing, you can use fractions to divide, summing, sums, adding, same as adding, so sum is another word for addition, differences, difference is another word for subtraction, where you find the difference, you minus one with, from another. Products is the same as multiplying. So multiplication is equal to products. Quotients means the division means divisions, same as dividing, yeah? Now factors. We know factors of say four is one, two, and four. The numbers that multiply to get to that number are the factors. Divisor is the number that we're dividing by. So if you're dividing eight by two, two is the divisor because we're dividing the number by two. And undefined, sometimes solutions of questions may be undefined because sometimes the answer won't make sense. We cannot get the answer. Say for example, if something squared is negative four, we can't get it because anything squared is always positive. We can't get a negative outcome. In this case, it's undefined. So make sure you utilize the word undefined if there's no particular solution for the question. Okay, so some of these terms here we're gonna be using. Let's try the questions utilizing those words. Question one, find the sum of 23, 35, and 46. Sum, sum means add, plus, right? So we're just gonna add them all together, and you guys can probably do that easily. Just add them up one by one. I just kinda added that one together first. I like to do one thing at a time, just to make it a bit more easier. So 23 plus 35 is 58 then plus 46 makes 104. So do please just be, feel free to do one thing at a time and go slowly, just so you don't have to make those silly mistakes. Question two, find the difference between 35 and 53. If I wanna find the difference, I wanna know how much gap in between, right? So it's best to do the larger number minus the smaller number, like that. So 53 minus 35 is 18, easy stuff. Question three, Find the sum of the first six positive whole numbers. So six positive whole numbers are one, two, three, four, five, and six. We add them all up. If you like, guys, you can just do two things at a time or three things at a time. Up to you, whatever's comfortable. I just found that it's 21. I just added it up. Question four. What number must be increased by 21 to get 452? So what number do I have to increase by? So 21, what do I have to add to that in order to get 452? Well, we have to find the difference in order to get that, don't we? Subtraction. So that minus that number will get you 431. So we know that 21 plus 431 will give us 452. Okay, that's pretty much it. Question five. What number must be decreased by 32 to get 45? So what number, if I subtract 32, will get 45? So, um, so by 32, which means we're decreasing by 32. So let's say the number is x. If I'm decreasing by 32 to get 45, that's, what, that's the number that I want. So, so we see how we're subtracting 32? To get x by itself, we need to add 32 to move it over to the other side. So we're basically just doing 45 plus 32. So it's 77. That's all you need to do. So you can utilize some algebra if it helps. I think it always helps in questions like these. Question six, find the product of 12 and 10. What does product mean, guys? Multiply, times together. So it's gonna be 12 times 10, which is 120. Question seven, find the quotient of 36 and four. Quotient is same as dividing, division. So we're gonna do 36 divided by four. You can use a fraction if you want. You can do 36 over four if you want. It's the same answer. 36 divided by four is nine. You guys should be good at your multiplication and divisions of these ones. Question eight, how many laps of a 200 meter short track does an athlete need to complete in a 5,000 meter one? Okay, so we have a 5,000 meter 
track, yeah? But we want to know how many 200 meters are within that. So we need to find the quotient, don't we? So we need to divide it because I want to know how many lots of 200s are within 5,000. So we just find the quotient by dividing and you should get 25. You, I'll leave the calculation for you to do. So the answer is 25. So there's 25 laps within that 5,000 meters. Okay guys, so these are the kind of stuff. Make sure you're very familiar with the words I've introduced at the very beginning.